Double chair to the leg. God. Oh, God. Damn it, freak. Ooh. Ooh, this is good. This is fucking. Oh, don't do it. No, don't do it. No, 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 no. Holy shit. Yeah, this your boy Ace here. Welcome to the afternoon's delight. And uh, what a week, man, for Judgment Day. What a week. Uh, I went over what Judgment Day did in my previous videos. I'm not going to try to reiterate it here. But y'all already know Judgment Day had a pretty busy night. Finn Balor had his match against uh, Matt Riddle. And they tried to get, they tried to recruit Matt Riddle, by the way, at the beginning. I wonder if they still do anything with that because... Seth Rollins might be hitting into a program with Lashley for the U.S. title. I don't know. But um, we'll see because I don't think Matt Riddle's done with Seth Rollins here. So I want to see what's going to happen with that. Um, but Judgment Day, I threw out the night. Dom hit a promo. There was a, a backstage vignette backstage with uh, Rey Mysterio. So they had, a, they had a busy night, man. And it was all centered around really Ray. Not want to see Dominic hurt by Edge, and that's why they had their match tonight because Edge really wanted to hurt Dom, and he had control of it. And he was going to do it at one point, but then Ray came out, and then that's when Judgment Day took over and got the Edge's bad knee and kept hitting him with the cheer shots. And even did uh, uh, Finn Balor hit the coup de gras on uh, Edge's bad leg, so yeah, they sent that boy to the gulags, bro. <laughs> they sent that boy to the gulags, but. Man, Judgment Day looked strong tonight, man. It was a really good... This was, a, like, this week and last week, I mean, ever since they got down to turn heel, man, Do Judgment Day has been the center of attention on Raw, man. Like, they've taken over Raw. Um, and they finally figured out how to book these guys. I mean, it's uh, it, it, it's great. It's great stuff, man. It, it, it was a great, great segment, man, for Judgment Day. Um... And Dom looks Dom looks convincing as a heel. Like I, I'm, I'm convinced he's, he's this is going to help him, man. He's looking like heel Eddie Guerrero right now, for real. He's healing it up, pretty strong. Rhea has been going to another level, man. Uh, everything connected with her and Dom, like people just want to see them, man. Like it, it's crazy, man, how good they got this going. But now let's talk. Let's do what I do every week. I talk about Rhea Ripley because she got some. She got a good shot on Edge, and then she got a, a you know, she got a real good hit chair shot. Like she got a shot on him doing the match, and then she got a good shot on him um, doing the match. And Rey Mysterio um, still need, still owes her to, you know, still, still needs to hit her, you know, um, because I've been talking about this like every week. I've been saying like, man, can they do some intergender matches with uh, Rhea Ripley because. She needs to get hit, man. She's been getting away with a lot of stuff, man. She's been getting away with hitting Ray. She's been getting hit, with, getting away with hitting Edge. Um, I know Beth Phoenix is still on the way for her, but I want to see a man hit her because she's getting away with hitting him because she is a female. So uh, they haven't crossed that line yet where they're allowing Rhea Ripley to get hit. Now, she got hit at the Clash of the Castle, but we're waiting for something a little bit more vicious done to her. Um, because like I said, she's been getting away with stuff, man. And she did it again this week and her character has gotten more, more demonized over the last few weeks. Like when Rhea first turned heel, you know, it was sort of a soft heel turn. Like she wasn't all the way there yet, but now her character is really coming into play ever since they got Dom involved. When she brought down to the ring, like her character has been totally different ever since then. Um, it seems like it has a purpose and she's just very vicious. He's been calling herself Poppy. So it's been absolutely hilarious and stuff like that. But we're waiting on that moment, man. Uh, maybe Edge would get a chance to do it, man. Cause I don't think Edge would care, bro, but we're waiting on it. We're waiting on it and they need to do intergender matches. It'll be awesome if she's in the inter intergender division for a while. Um, 
but they'll have to they have to create the division though man you know what i'm saying so until then we don't know but go ahead and get this video a like man hit that like button for me share the video subscribe to the channel especially if you're new in the zoo any comments that i got definitely put them below and if you want to donate to the channel hit the super thanks button below the video i much appreciate or you can hit the cash app dollar sign sack of changes on your screen right here but yeah man um yeah, I, I need Rhea Ripley to get hit. <laughs> I need her to get hit so it get even of the odds. And and the reason why she should get hit, it might be better because then she could be really aggressive, you know, like she was with the cheer shots tonight on Edge. I mean, but she could take it to another level if she's able to hit the men. Like, if you haven't seen Ted, uh, Tessa Blanchard against Sammy Callahan on Impact a couple of years ago, back in 2019, you saw how they got in a real fight with Sam, with Tessa and Sally, Sammy Cowell, and they were they were going like, and Tessa's slightly smaller than Rhea Ripley in size, but she was still able to handle Sammy Callahan pretty good. So I hope they do that. Let's see what they do, man. But uh, I want to thank y'all for watching this week. I will see y'all tomorrow because we got NXT's one year anniversary. Toxic Attraction is probably going to be on there, so I'm definitely going to report what they do in Core J, and then I'll see y'all on Friday for SmackDown. Thank you guys for watching. Afternoon's delight.